Hello and welcome to another episode of Grain and Pain. I'm Michael here with James. Hello. Today we got some Devil's Cut from Jim Bean. And we have uh, Nando's Peri Peri Extra Hot Sauce. Yep, really super excited about that one because from the home country, so yeah. got to represent. Exactly. Um, today's going to be a little bit different. We're going to run through this one quickly. We're going to give you our scores. We're going to tell you what it tastes like and how good it is. And then we're going to take it over to the new set. We got a new set for you guys and we will be showing you how to make, you know, a certain drink that we both like using the Devil's Cut. Um, yeah, I'm going to break my, my rule because I usually use Woodford Reserve, yeah. but we're opening this today, so it's a special occasion. We're going to, so we'll, we thought why not just use that and we'll make a, a drink for you, show you how to make that. Well, it's going to be fun. Yeah. We. No, okay. No, shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> shoot. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Since you couldn't do it well enough. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed. There's no cork in this. Yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. Yeah. It's always nice to have a cork in a uh, in a nice bottle of whiskey because it kind of seems sounds... less quality when you have a twist top. I don't know. That's just me though. Yeah, no, I agree with you. All right. So the the special thing about this, and I've been wanting to do this one for a long time, is so Devil's Cut comes from. The Angel's Cut and Devil's Cut. The Angel's Cut is the bit that escapes from the barrel and um, evaporates, evaporates yeah. and it just goes up and Angel's Cut, it just evaporates and the Angels get a cut of it. The Devil's Cut is the bit that you lose to the actual barrel and it soaks into the wood. Yeah. So they found a way to extract that and put it into um, an, another aged whiskey that they have so they, they it's not fully from the wood it's just they've added some of that to another whiskey oh okay so it's not actually just the whiskey from the wood no you i mean i'm sure you could i mean yeah but that, that would be way too strong i feel that would be way too it'd just be like sucking on yeah. wood chips that smells really good though it does smell really good and you can smell it's a little bit more oaky but i mean that's to be expected it's got a dark Caramel yeah. color to it, and I think it's got a really good color, and I'm 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 enjoying the the deep richness of it. But it's it's literally from the barrel, like mm. they've sucked it out of the barrel. I don't know how they've done it. It's a process that they keep secret, I think, from what I read. But so basically, it could just be lying to us. Yeah, <laughs> it could be just another whiskey that they just aged for a little yeah. bit longer. All right, you want to try it? Yeah, I'm super stoked. It tastes like a wood shop. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> there is a lot of wood in there. And underneath that, caramel. I taste the caramel, yeah. But I don't get any fruity flavors, really. Not not at the top, at least. At the top, it's just, I, and they've nailed that. Mm, it, that's like really the devil's good. cut, but they've really not. It's very, very. Woody. Yeah. <laughs> you can even smell it on the nose. You can smell it's very, very woody. Yeah, that's not even a joke. You, it smells very... I don't know. All kind of whiskey kind of taste. I mean, smells, sorry, uh, woody, but this is especially so. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, uh, I've, I've been super excited to get this one on the show. And we've had to push it back for... Other ones yeah. that we've wanted to do, like the blade and bow, because we really like the key. But I've been, I've been <laughs> nagging yeah. James since since we got this bottle in that we should do this. It does taste, it tastes like wood chips. <laughs> it does. It's like I guess that's what they're going for. I really like it though. Mm. I enjoy. I'm sure this would push some people the wrong way. They would feel like they, it's like wood. They they sucking on a wood chip that mm -hmm. like got dunked in some bourbon. Yeah. So what would you score this one? This is going to be a really hard one for me. I think I'm going to put this at... 74. Wow, that is high. Mm. What was your Woodford, do you remember? I, I bumped it up. What would you rate it? Um, it's high, but... Well, no, it is, it is pretty high. Uh, yeah, I'll go with... Uh, I'll go with 70. It's a good 70. It's... That's a high one for yeah. you. So now we got our ratings in. Do you want to show them the new set? Yeah, let's show them. Let's, let's do it. Ready? Here it is. This is the new set, peeps. 
I like it. James likes it. Oh yeah. And <laughs> since we got a new set, it's only right that we get a new co-host. We do. We gotta have someone help us with with the show, and that is Carl the Cactus. So please welcome Carl. Carl. The cactus. Oh, the cactus. <laughs> he uh, will give input on really important things, and if we forget anything, Carl will be sure to let us know. Yeah. So, and I'm sure we will forget some things. So today we're gonna. What are we making? Old fashioned. My, my favorite. It is a timeless classic that everybody knows, mm -hmm. and uh, I dearly love. So I usually make it with Woodford. Um, I'm gonna break the rule. I'm gonna make it with the Devil's Cut. Um, James is also gonna make it with this, but he's gonna do a slightly different way of uh, preparing it. I'm gonna show you my way. James is gonna do maybe the right way. It just... basically ends up with the same product, with the, with the same you know end result, but yeah, just done a little bit differently. Um, me and Michael like it a bit different. Yeah. So I'll let you do the honors with that. Okay. And I'm gonna use a tin cup. Cup for old time's sake. All right, so we don't have a proper mixing vessel, but uh, you can basically use whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, so plop a few ice cubes in there to get started. Then we gotta just use our our handy dandy measuring cup, whatever it's called. Uh, and we're gonna do two ounces of that. Two ounces of your choice of whiskey in there. Some people say pour the uh, cheap ingredients first in case you mess it up, which I guess is true, but... Have you ever done that? No. <laughs> because not, I not mess it up, like pour the cheap ingredients. Yeah, yeah, I think that's actually a good idea. I just... You just don't do I'm it. a rule breaker. So. <laughs> uh, and then just a a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. You don't want it too sweet. You know, the old fashioned is not really meant to be that sweet of a drink. So just a quarter ounce of that. And then usually you're supposed to use Angostura bitters. Um, we kind of just go for whatever we want, really. So I like to use ginger bitters. Michael likes a different type. He'll explain his, but yeah, I like good ginger bitters in there. So you can do like two to four dashes of that. The more the the more taste you'll have, I think you know it adds not only flavor but like a good smell to it. So then you just want to mix it a little bit. How many ice cubes did you put in there? I put in four. It kind of depends on how diluted you want. Yeah, how diluted you want it, how, how cold, cold you want it. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's really up to up to you. And then you want to take your glass, put one or two ice cubes in it depends on how much you want it to keep diluting because it will just keep getting you know more watery as time goes on so i'll just put two in there then strain <laughs> and then there are multiple ways you can uh garnish this drink but i like to keep it nice and simple with just an orange peel that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's redo that. That's a bit better. That looks good. You know, you can squeeze it out a little bit so it gets some of the juices in there. That didn't really work, but that's okay. <laughs> put it around the edge, put it in. That'll just add, you know, a bit of smell around the rim. And then when you go in, you know, you'll catch it on the nose as you're sipping. So. That is my old fashioned. Wow. I think that's really good. Um, did you forget a cherry or do you not put a cherry I in it? I don't like putting cherries in it. You don't like putting cherries in it? No, I don't really like cherries that much. Didn't know that. Um, I'm gonna use this because I think it's roughly two, even though I said it was one and a half, I think it is two. James is always right. Um, so what I do is I usually put my whiskey in first. I do not use a um, mixing glass. I just like to go straight in. And most of the time, because I do this, oh, I have done this often, I mostly eyeball it. So I use two ounces, one ice cube. I then put about uh, a quarter worth of simple syrup. Oh, 
Yeah. That's a pretty big eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing is, when you eyeball it, it comes out different e each time. So that adds a you know an element that you like. Well, I mean, um, it's going to be different by like a little bit. So it's got either it's going to be a little bit sweeter, or it's going to be a little bit more heavy on the bourbon side. Um, and then I lately I have been using this Woodford Reserve chocolate bitters and. I really want to make my own chocolate bitters, mm -hmm. and I think we might do this later on in the show. But the chocolate bitters has just really given another dimension. Yeah, it's just given another dimension to my old fashions, and I absolutely love it. And it just gives like that sweet richness underneath that not very many other bitters will give you. I'll do the same as James, give a nice little spritz around the glass. I'll go inside and outside because... I'm special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have... So I have Luxardo cherries and you can get... What is it? Maraschino cherries. Maraschino cherries. These are, those, are... Are those the sweeter ones? They are. Well, they, they, they're both pretty sweet. But do you want to, it's, the smell. syrup is, is different. That's yeah, that's, see, the that's what I don't really like about the cherries is having that like it just it's another flavor. It's another element that you're putting into it. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. And then I stir it up. I literally just stir it up like that. And <laughs> what? Uh, that's just... I, like I, like I said, it's there's two different schools of thought, but they both end up tasting mm. pretty good. Fantastic. Ooh. That's really nice. And I think you're right. I was slightly heavier on the, on the sugar syrup. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still flipping perfect mm. for me. That the uh, the citrus of the orange that comes through the the chocolate of the bitters. Okay, I want to taste it with the chocolate actually, because you can smell so you can so smell it right off the right off the bat. Whoa. It tastes so different. It tastes mine compared to that. It's like sweet, but like natural sweet, if you know what I mean. Yours. If you notice, I only put one ice cube in, and then James put two. Your ice cubes are almost. I mean, like they've shrunk a little bit, but they still well, it's retaining. Definitely a lot, like a lot wider than it was before. Yeah, but they're still retaining the same size. Like my ice cubes, tiny, almost gone. Well, that's just because I mixed with the ice cubes in it. Do you like the change over time of the dilution? Yeah, because I think that it brings out different things mm -hmm. in the bourbon. It changes it because you're getting different notes that you yeah. wouldn't usually get when you're just sipping it. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, I like my old fashions on the strong side. Okay. I like to taste more bourbon than anything else. And that's why you only use one ice cube, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now that we have this new bar and we can make all the drinks that we want, you guys send in your favorite drinks and we'll try and make them for you in the best way, <laughs> the best way that we can. Yeah, anything you want to see, we'll uh, we'll try our best we'll get to, to, it. to show you how to do it or, you know, new spins on that kind of drink or anything like that. Yeah, and we'll make, uh, we promise, we'll make some gross stuff too and we'll make producer Matt yeah. drink it. So, it's going to be a good time. This is a good set. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> Back to the old set. I think the christening of our new set was uh, pretty successful. I think it's going to be a, the start of something great. Mm. I really do. It's going to be good. All right. So should we move on to the hot sauce? Let's do it. Alrighty then. All right. So we have some Nando's Peri Peri extra hot sauce here for you. This is one of our favorites because Nando's actually originates in South Africa. It was created by a Portuguese and South African man who and were in the army together, I think. Really? I think so, yeah. Oh, that was pretty cool. So the peri peri is a type of um, chili, um, and that's kind of where all of their hot sauces were mm -hmm. derived from, and they thought that that was a good name for... Nando's peri peri, yeah, the name of the restaurant chain. If yeah. you haven't uh, seen it or heard of it, check it out. It's a really good restaurant. It's flipping good. I don't think they sell any red meat. I don't think they do. Yeah. Their chicken is 
bomb. The though. finest of mm. cuts. Not a sponsor. Yet. But could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this the double X? Or is just the hot one? This is just the extra hot one. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> I put a lot on there. Think it? Yep. Still good, dude. Mm. Wow. That brings back memories. The flavor, I feel like in peri peri sauce, no matter what heat you get, throughout their hot sauces from like zero all the way to the XX, all of them put taste first. They don't put the heat first. Mm. Every single one, even the XX, even though that one like burns, burns, the flavor is still the, the most impressive thing. I mean, this is, what would you say? This is like a solid three and a half, four. Out of what? 10. Of heat? Yeah. Okay, yeah, but for most people, I think it's a bit hotter than that. Okay. Like, yeah, but this is, this us. is meant to be the, like the extra hot. This is meant to be the hottest one. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Well, on the back of this thing it is. There's the XX. Yeah, dude. That's the one where we like... Oh, we that's the one that we used to get, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We dip it in, we have one bite, and then we're like, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. now we go back to the extra that's hot, and then the hot <laughs> ones. Yes, yeah, so this is made with uh, an African bird's eye chili as well as a serrano chili. I don't really know where all the flavors coming from. Onion, white, vinegar, salt, lemon, and spices. Mm. But it's still a really good hot sauce. You can taste the lemon coming through though. I feel like all of them have lemon in them though. Yeah, but it's not like it's drowned because out. Lemon and chicken go really well together. Yeah. That is true. Is this the first hot sauce where we've poured more in because we like it so much? Mm, probably. <laughs> the Maybe nostalgia's might. kicking in. <laughs> so good. That is fine stuff. Actually superb. Mm. So you said the heat rating for you was what? Three and a half? Four? I'd give it a four. It got warm towards the end. I think with like Nando's sauces, the more you eat them, the hotter they get. That is true. The more they start to burn. So mm -hmm. if you've had a lot it's of like it- It's like a compounding heat. Yeah, I'd say if you've had a lot of it, it's like a six, but starting out, it's definitely like a three or a four. Yeah. But right. yeah, the taste overall is oh, just- the taste is amazing. Yeah. Nostalgia to the max. So I think, this was like one of my favorite episodes. The woodiness of the devil's cut and the flavorfulness. I don't know, just all the flavor that they've jam-packed into that bottle. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't understand. And it's not overpowered by the heat and they've really got that balanced out. Mm -hmm. It's they've just done a really good job. This is one of my favorite episodes. Like it's yeah, really I don't disagree. Up there. This is one of this is one of the favorites as well. Yeah. I mean that whiskey is really good and obviously this is just and all favorite so, of ours, so yeah. Thank you for watching this video. We super stoked with our new set. We hope that we can do lots more content with it in the future. Uh, we can't wait to see your guys' reactions with it. Um, please like and subscribe. Yeah, leave any comments down below, you know, what, what do you want to see us do um, at the new set or, you know, just in general, anything you have to say, please, please let us know. Yeah. Join us for the next Sipping and Dipping.